Thank you so much for watching Tomoshita Music. This lesson for Rob. We've been doing um, a lot of Skype lesson every Friday. Thank you, Rob. And you're doing amazing, uh, great. And, um, you know, so much passion on the guitar playing. And like everybody else, uh, Rob did a lot of transcribing, learning, you know, blues guitar, a lot of, you know, finger picking, a really difficult one, really. And he learned, spent many hours. But, uh, you know, a similar problem to everybody. But once you learn, parts you can play parts but you cannot uh, improvise because everything visually memorized so we have been working on something simple to play so this is like a little bit imp inspiration from uh, Lightning Hopkins Lightning Hopkins about amazing part is you know blues guitar that he doesn't really follow 12 bars. <laughs> Sometimes he go to 11 and a half or 14, it depends on the lyrics. So if you look up Lightning Hopkins, usually solo guitar sounds great. With the band, it's a little tough because he goes a little bit out, outside of a 12 bar blues. And took me a long time to understand why Lightning Hopkins is so amazing great more like blues and jazz in a way but when i went to berkeley and then I, right after i graduated from berkeley you know around 1990 91 around there and uh you know what's ha what, what's happening was um I, I was i was listening a little bit more uh, blues old blues and one of us was lightning hopkins and then very unique very loose and sometimes he doesn't really play 12 bars and it kind of bugs me for a while because I'm so focused on focus on uh, <clears throat> system or uh, form too much, you know. And so I think to me, Lightning Hopkins is great encouragement for us not to worry about mistakes. It just play by feel. But uh, this means, you know, yes and no. And not, not all about feeling, but in other words, you don't want to make yourself too picky. So here, uh, <coughs> you have bass and E, the first part, second finger from second string, okay, third fret to slide into fifth, flat seventh to root, E. That's it. Then, Even that one, then typical blues, you know. <clears throat> you say, you know, second, first finger, fourth fret, third string, third fret, second string. So slowly. Even this, the second finger, just a little bit. Don't go down. Sometimes you can do the typical blues one. So this one really <coughs> hold first string fifth, uh, seventh fret. That's the fifth, and then second finger uh, eighth fret. That's like a you know sharp nine or flat three. Bend up to major third. Just a slightly. So you practice that, just E. That blues guy, you know, I'm using my toe to hit the you know bottom floor. Now, 
we can go four, all you have to do is like, you know, A string, the same riff. But when you play this, that's a plus seven, that's a ninth against the A. So you don't bend. That's it. Typical blues E E uh, E seven. So now he, this one from fifth string, second fret, first fret, second open, second. Sharp run. Hendrix took that, you know, Steve Rebon the same way. Uh, uh. Oh, that's difficult. So, don't worry about that. So, you know. Very useful. You know, um, crossroads almost, you know, so. So now, root plus seven to fifth. That's a fifth. Major third. So It's like a relax and slide. I can improvise a lot of ideas, but I think you have to learn one patterns, but really simple. So from there, you could improvise a little bit because it's simple enough.
Thank you so much for watching Tomoshita Music. If you want to subscribe my guitar channel here, Tomoshita Music, that would be amazing. Okay. And if you want to learn more guitar, always welcome to Guitar Wisdom. I teach a lot of detailed lessons using two cameras and showing all the chords in the screen so you don't miss anything. And uh, that's it. All right. So see you soon. Take care. Thank you so much.